My hair is one of the best ways to make a statement. It is my crown. My hair says I'm fierce, I'm otherworldly, I'm out there and I'm not afraid to experiment or to live my life. A lot of people tell me that you sure are brave to do that with your hair. I don't feel brave, I just feel secure. I like wrapping my hair for multiple reasons, but one of them is definitely that it's like, I'm doing the same thing that my ancestors whose name I'll never know did. I'm being a fly in a way that pushes back on these larger structures. I definitely have a very like fraught relationship with my hair. I didn't grow up hearing somebody say, oh, Terry, like somebody needs to comb Terry's hair. I heard my dad saying, oh, somebody needs to go fix her head. Your hair is supposed to be kept and not unruly. It's supposed to be respectable. If I was to go get a job, I wouldn't wear my hair like this because certain jobs would be like, you have to tame your hair. There's a reason why people still perm their hair after it burns, after it breaks off. And it's because it's ingrained in us that it's not cute, that's not pretty, that's not acceptable, that's not professional. I worked at this PR firm on Capitol Hill. I had to sue them because of my braids. She was saying, either you change that hair or we're gonna send you to the basin with the secretarial pool. But when I go in there for my safe little pixie, doors open. I really wanted to be blonde. I would see all of like these girls and like their hair was like long and silky and would move in the wind. Blonde, white, blue-eyed. All of the boys seemed to be smitten by them. Hair down to the back, just like flowing and curly and beautiful. I had braids, everyone had straight hair, then I got straight hair and it then felt weird. I would have like really bad scabs in my hair because like the perm would burn it. I never even thought that you you were not meant to relax your hair. And the experience of saying, oh, I, my mom said I can't get my hair wet and that being totally foreign to them and again being the problem, being the weird, being the freak. This is the first time that I've known what my hair looks like when it just grows out of my scalp. How is that I know what my pubes look like more than I know the hair on my head? I went through a really hard time of just people not understanding that I didn't want to spend every Saturday at the hair salon. I didn't want to go to the Dominicans and have my hair blown out. It just wasn't my thing. My mom took really good care of my hair. She learned how to do my hair. Our hair textures are not the same. Even my mom tending to my hair and that in itself, that action acknowledges that my hair is beautiful and worthy and I still was somehow brainwashed into believing otherwise. They already knew when I was born. They were like, we're gonna make so much money off of this baby because she is going with the weeds and she is gonna go to salons to try to look like, drop any actress. The way the system is engineered to promote failure of our people, to promote a lack of self-esteem. The idea of what beautiful hair is, is completely Warped. I got silky hair, I got good hair, but good hair doesn't exist. Am I going to have to conform to this standard of being vanilla and not who I am? That's not me, I'm, I'm all about color. How I look, how I am, I am black. To be proud and have an exaggeration of being of African traits. So, purple lipstick to accentuate these big lips, a really big nappy hair to really exaggerate what it is to have black hair, African hair is prideful to me. When do you feel the most beautiful? When I look at my beautiful brown skin and I tell myself, oh my God, you're so beautiful and brown. Every time I smile, I feel beautiful. To just bask in nature together in like all of its glory, that's when I feel most beautiful. Every day, all day, <laughs> all the time. I feel the most beautiful when I'm telling the truth. When I'm around my sister, she is half of me. So when we're together, I feel so special to be black, to be a black girl. I fought to be in the person that I am, in the personhood that I've embodied. And every time that we speak, every time, that we share space. Every single thing is possible. We are more than enough. And all we have to do to claim that is claim ourselves, claim our Venus, and just be. Well, I was told that I would be bald, but guess what? 
I'm not bald. I got something. I got a little hang. See it? So this is me. This is me. This is me.